Bing! Greetings, Cabin Mate Hawkins. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce you to the Cannon Buster Pro, the finest cannon we've ever made. Actually, it's the only cannon we've ever made. <laughs> According to the captain, you need to learn how to fire the cannon. Give me a call if you need any instructions. Come along, Beaky, it's time for our next experiment. <laughs> Allow me to give you some brief instructions regarding the Cannon Blaster Pro. <clears throat> to turn the cannon left and right, use the arrows. To fire the cannon, use the red button. Fire at will. Boop. Close one. Getting closer, try again. That's a tough one. Nicely done, Hawkins. You fired that cannon like a seasoned deckhand. Keep up the good work. Hawkins, might I remind you that one of your lessons is you weigh the anchor? Oh, that, that, that's okay, Mr. Arrow. I already weighed it. It weighs 367 and three-quarter pounds. Hmm. Very well. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but it will have to do. Anchors away! Lower the gangway! What about the henway? What's a henway? About three pounds. Ah! You didn't get it? All hands on deck! Oh, aye aye, Captain! <sighs> My hands are on deck! Now what should I do? Uh, Captain? Captain? That's it, man. Work hard, it will make you waka waka the plank. Ah, thank you, thank you. I wonder where we're going. I had a map. Tell you. Anchors away. Standing, Hawkins. I hear you and the Squire have weighed the anchor in magnificent fashion. We now can safely anchor the Hispaniola when we get to Treasure Island. Ooh.
beautiful day for sailing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Can't you find anything heavier? Hey, this loading of the jolly boat sure feels good. I think I'm gonna sneeze. Ah! Phew. I've heard of keeping one's nose to the grindstone, but this is ridiculous. That's a nose fall. That does it. Ooh, good work, Hawkins. Thanks to you, the jolly boat is loaded with provisions. Ooh. Thanks to who? Oh, if you seem to recall, it was me who got his nose bent out of shape. Oh, how quickly we forget. Okay, Hawkins, you've completed all your lessons. The time has come. Meet me at the helm. Ah. Go ahead, mate. Climb on that. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Wow. Night sure descends fast around here. What a beautiful evening for stargazing. Hawkins, oh, I was hoping you'd make it up here. Care to take a guided tour of the northern sky? Begging the captain's pardon. I was wondering if Hawkins would care to take a gander at the stars. Hmm? Tis a beautiful night for sky watching. Hmm. I don't recall inviting you up here, Mr. Silver. And I'm sorry, but I was just about to guide Hawkins through the stars myself. Well, what a shame. How about we let Hawkins gander? Ah, the sky's just jumping with stars, matey. Flint itself never stole such jewels. Take a gander. Mm. The way I see it, mate, the night sky's like a sea, and the stars are like ships floating upon its calm way. Sometimes the stars form patterns. Smart folks call them constellations. Point out the constellations in the sky, and I'll tell you what I've learned through all my years on the seven seas. Lyra, the liar, the musician of the night sky. He serenades the seekers of fortune and adventure. Listen for his song, Hawkins. You found it, matey. Ursa Major, the Great Bear. Some call it the Big Dipper, because it also looks like a soup spoon. Ha! <laughs> Leave it to an old sea cook to know that, eh, Hawkins? Orion, the heavenly hunter, a giant among men. They say he had a suit of armor made of gold. Sounds like a suit I might like to alter for myself, don't it, Hawkins? Pegasus, the great flying horse. But don't believe everything you hear, Hawkins. From here, he looks like a goat. Hercules. He's known now as a great hero, but he was once a madman. Killed his own children in a fit of madness, I hear. But don't you worry about madmen. Long John will protect you from harm. Perseus, the hero. A gentleman of fortune he might have been. Perseus killed the snake-haired Gorgon, Medusa, who could turn men to stone with just one glance. They say he did it for love, but he may have done it for profit. A hero? Who can say? But legend has it that he was indeed a sea cook. <laughs> what a beautiful night. 
Sweet dreams, Hawkins. Good night, Hawkins. Benjamina. Tomorrow is a big day, and a sailor must be well rested. Follow me. You there, wake up and go to sleep. You there, you are snoring in a no snoring zone. Cease and desist immediately! Here we are, Huckins, your luxurious sleeping quarters. Good night, Huckins. You did an excellent job today. The captain was very pleased with your performance. Aren't you gonna tuck us in? First mates, do not tuck in. Good night. Good night, Good night Hawkins. Hawkins. <laughs> Good night, Hawkins. Good night, Rizzo. Good night, Gonzo. Good night, Hawkins. Good, Good night, night, Stevenson. Not so fast, Hawkins. Go to sleep. something. I say we kill the captain now, along with that Hawkins and the other feet. Apple anyone? <sighs> After that, we get that twit of a bear and make a rug out of it. Yeah, and then we'll dress up like ladies with big hats and pointy shoes and dance on him. Patience, you scurvy dogs! We'll take control of the ship soon enough. And if any of you mutiny before I say so, I'll do to you what I'm gonna do to them. I say, we go ashore and find the treasure. When we return to the ship, we'll kill a lot of them. And the treasure will be ours. Why, those little worms. Uh, and speaking of worms, I'm hungry. When's breakfast? 